What's up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy Premiere Pro tutorial. Again, this is a beginner tutorial, not for you experts. Move on to the next video. So let's get started. Today we're learning what the slip tool is, how to use it, and why we use it. So the slip tool is a really great tool in Premiere Pro. Let's say you have a piece of footage right here. Um, this is a very outdoor watery theme I got going on. And this girl is in the water with a life jacket on, um, about to be rescued by some fish. And I want the footage to be different. So what normally what we would do is grab this, move it down, move it down, and then like there's a new clip. But what if I don't want this clip to move at all, but I want to like select a different part of this clip and keep it right here. It's called the slip tool. So on your toolbar, win window tools, mine's already open right here, this little tool called slip tool. Y on your keyboard, we click Y, we grab the clip, and we can actually drag it. And it starts to change it. So her face is going to be there. As you can see, the clip has been changed. It's different. How cool is that? And to see the difference, let's undo this. Let's copy it. Hit Y on our keyboard. And drag it back again to where her face is showing there. Let's go to Window, Effects, Crop, and just show you what um, this changed. So like from there to there, this clip is now from here to here. So you can see that the slip tool lets us adjust the timing of the clip without actually changing where the cut is, which is super helpful. As always guys, I'm Max. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Otherwise, scan that QR code on the screen. Helps me out a ton.